Usually, Christians are more indirectly influenced by other people around them or the culture into thinking this is nothing unchristian, and in fact, it's pushed on them that this is Christian. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Doherty with crossexamined.org. If you don't know who I am, I am an ex-New Ager and have a ministry that focuses on helping Christians better understand and spot New Age beliefs so they can biblically discern truth from half-truths and lies. In a series of videos, I wanted to talk about five New Age teachings that I see entering into our very churches. In today's video, which is the first of five, I wanted to talk about the Law of Attraction. Now, if you don't know what the Law of Attraction is, it's a new thought practice that says like attracts like. In this belief, your thoughts and feelings manifest your reality based on how much faith you have. So faith and love are seen as a sort of power, and we can manifest our desires because we possess the inner divinity to do so. The absolute core of this teaching and of New Age teachings in general is that you are God. It teaches that we're all God in some sort of pantheistic type of way. So literally, what you do to someone else, since we're all God, then you literally do to yourself. So what you do to others comes back to you, sort of like the teaching of karma within Buddhism. The basic formula is based on what you ask the universe, with a capital U, universe for, through your thoughts and feelings, and you truly believe it, you will receive whatever you want based on that faith. It could be money, possessions, a spouse, health, children, or any other desire you want. And I find a lot of Christians simply have no idea how much this teaching has permeated not only our culture, but our churches. Now, after coming out of the New Age, I was shocked to see this practice in a lot of hyper-charismatic churches throughout America, but it's not just in this movement. This is in many churches, even some more popular ones. And in my case, I was a casual churchgoer. I went to church almost every week, believing in the law of attraction, among many other New Age beliefs. I believe one reason why this can happen and does happen is because of the misuse of scripture and Jesus's teachings, along with biblical illiteracy among Christians. The law of attraction is made to sound Christian. So when someone reads this stuff and they don't know the Bible very well, they assume it's a more spiritual Christian teaching. And many Christians have a, a vision board and meditate or visualize the objects on their boards. It's all about living your best life that you can, visualizing, manifesting, living in a positive, loving mindset. And some Christians say that we can control the positive energy and vibrations in the universe by using the law of attraction. And it's all done while quoting scripture and saying that if Jesus did it, then so can we. To them, he was the way shower to these powers. And some consider this to be a sort of spiritual awakening and perfectly within the confines of scripture because many new age teachers actually quote scripture to, to back it up. Usually, Christians are more indirectly influenced by other people around them or the culture into thinking this is nothing unchristian. And in fact, it's pushed on them that this is Christian. This is real Christianity. Because of that fluid mix and match nature of New Age teachings, Christians tend to do exactly that. They mix and match the parts of the law of attraction that work for their beliefs without even realizing that what they're believing in is basically new age. The bottom line is the more you know the Bible, the more you will see that these teachings cannot be Christian. Here are some helpful scriptures that I found useful when it came to combating the biblical understanding of the law of attraction. James 4 verses 2 through 3, you want something but don't get it. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. See, God doesn't just give us everything that we ask for. We must ask within the parameters of his sovereignty and his will. The next scripture is Revelation 3, verses 17 through 18. When Jesus himself addresses this church, for you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing, not realizing that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. 
Verse 18, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich and white garments so that you may clothe yourself and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen and salve to anoint your eyes so that you may see. Jesus tells them they are the exact opposite of everything they were confessing. If the law of attraction teachings were true and biblical, it would be impossible for Jesus to give them this report. If you're interested in learning more about me and my work and this subject, you can find a lot more detailed information on this topic on my YouTube channel and by visiting crossexamined.org.